got a pretty controversial topic for you guys today. We're gonna talk about incest. Why is it so bad? So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? topic I've been wanting to tackle for a while. I'm actually very excited about it because I think it's something that a lot of people won't delve into. When I made my popular opinions video, unpopular opinions, I mean, someone mentioned in the comments that they don't think that incest is that bad. And that's something that I've always thought and something that I was saving for my second video about unpopular opinions. And I've been putting this video off, but today I've been thinking a lot about what I would want to put into this video. And when I'm brainstorming a lot about a video, it's best done if I just do it in that day and don't put it off anymore. So here we are. What is incest? Ask no one ever, but just in case, if someone doesn't know, it's basically having a romantic or sexual relationship with someone in your bloodline. A lot of people cut it off at first cousin. Some people think that dating a first cousin is also gross. You get the drill. I want to ask you guys to please try to put aside your visceral reactions to the topic. The whole like, ew, oh my god, that's so gross, that's disgusting. And try to think about this logically and rationally, using facts. As you guys know, it's a hobby of mine to tackle theoretical and philosophical topics. And you guys also know I like to think of myself as someone who's more rational than emotional. I try to understand why I do things and why I feel certain ways so that I can harness my emotions and use them for good rather than riding them around like a roller coaster with no control. I find that to be a better way to live my life for me personally. And I challenge you guys to try to do the same, if not just for the remainder of this video. As always, everything here is just my opinions and how I see things, and I would love to hear how you guys see things. If you disagree with me, that's completely fine. And obviously you can do whatever you want, but if you feel like just like hating me, downvoting the video, saying some rude shit, and then leaving, you can totally do that, but I would prefer if we actually had a conversation where you brought up points and told me why I'm wrong instead. Use your words and your mind. Okay, so let's first talk about why most people think that incest is fucking disgusting. First off, our biology tells us not to like people who are in our immediate relation. There's actually like certain smells and pheromones that we give off within our bloodline that kind of repulses us. And while that doesn't always work, there's a good reason for that. One of the main arguments as to why incest is completely wrong is because you have a much higher than normal rate of child deformities, retardation, basically just birth defects in general. Obviously, if I was to theorize why this is the case, I would say that the mixing of different genes is just healthier. For instance, animals and insects that reproduce asexually are actually just replicating their own DNA onto their offspring, so it's basically like a copy of themselves. And while that's pretty cool, in doing so, they open themselves up to a lot of different issues. If there are any flaws in the genes, they're not gonna be improved in the next generation, less likely to survive diseases, things like that. Honestly, science is not my field of expertise and I haven't read much into this, but I would surmise that the closer you get to that asexual reproduction, aka reproducing with someone who has similar genes to you, the closer you get to that issue. I feel the need to say that I have never been attracted to anyone in my family. I have no agenda with this video other than to just have a discussion with you guys and tell you my opinions because they're very different from the norm. So what if this unholy incestuous relationship doesn't bear children? For instance, it's a homosexual relationship or one of the parties or both don't wanna have kids or can't have kids. Then is it okay? Most people would say it's not, right? But why is that? Now let's think about some reasons why it wouldn't be okay. One of the reasons is a power dichotomy. Think about a mother and a child or a father and a child. When you're raising a child and you're an authority figure and then in adulthood you guys end up dating, there can be huge power dynamics there that make it very unhealthy for the child. It could look as though, and it can even be so, that the parent is actually coercing the child into this relationship making them feel like that's the only way they can get love, or that that's something that's completely normal. As you guys know, I am not a fan of saying, well, that's normal, or well, that's natural, and then acting as though that's the right course of action for sure, just based on that logical fallacy. But if you do raise a child under the pretenses that they should have a romantic relationship with you, you can definitely psychologically warp a child. But honestly, when it comes to like cousins or long lost brothers and sisters who meet up one day and fall in love, I don't see any problem with that. If they're being completely conscientious about all of the problems they could cause if they have children, and they're taking steps to protect against that, then honestly it's really no different than a couple where one of the people has some gene that they will surely pass on to their offspring that's very bad so they just abstain from having kids. Like let's say some kind of horrible disease runs in their family and they don't want to pass it on to their kids. Marrying one of those people is not bad. I honestly believe that there are people out there that just aren't affected by our biology. They aren't disgusted by the idea of having sex with someone that they grew up with. Which is another point I'd like to make. 
Often when someone says, no, he's like a brother to me, or no, she's like a sister to me, that usually means that you've been in contact with them when you were younger and kind of grew up with them, or you've divulged so much about yourself that there's no mystery left, and then that person can't see you as anything more than a brother or sister or family member anymore, because it's like you know them too well. If that kind of bond forms before a romantic relationship forms, it can often be hard for you to see someone in a sexual way. And I honestly feel that's another part of our biology telling us that incest shouldn't happen because birth defects can happen. Spread your genes out wide and don't keep them closely crumpled. It's basically just a survival mechanism. But the fact that society sees these people in seemingly healthy relationships and just immediately judges them, that doesn't make any sense to me. Just because you don't think it's right or it's not right in your culture or you were raised differently doesn't mean it's inherently wrong. Even if our very biology is telling us not to do it, it doesn't necessarily make it wrong. We have many biological and instinctual properties that we don't need anymore or use anymore. In my opinion, jealousy is one of them as we don't need to protect what's ours in a tribe and no one's out to get us, but there are many others as well. Shit, we even have organs we don't need. So is it wrong to get rid of your tonsils or your appendix, even if it's gonna kill you because it's part of our natural biology? I believe that any relationship that has some kind of varying hierarchy can become toxic, but I'm not within the relationship to actually be able to make that assertion. Just like you guys are not involved with the relationships of incestuous people that you like to hate on the internet. There are plenty of famous guys who have sex with fangirls. Why is that not looked down upon just as much as the woman who has sex with her son? She might be manipulating and taking advantage of him. The superstar might be manipulating and taking advantage of his status as a superstar with these girls. Is it happening? You can't tell for sure unless you're like actually a part of the situation. So might as well not judge and try to open your mind to new ideas from other people who grew up differently than you. So let's just talk about the redneck stereotype where the uneducated Southern rednecks like to have incestuous relationships with each other. That was probably just based on the fact that things are rural down there and it's really hard to find another person of the opposite sex. And People who might do that tend to give less of a shit about what other people think or be less intelligent. But I honestly don't think any of that factors into who actually has incestuous urges or not. I feel like there are tons of quote unquote normal people who have thought they had like a super hot cousin or something or a hot aunt, I don't know. I feel like the further removed you are from that family member, the more likely you are to find them attractive. And there are stories of brothers and sisters who have never met in their entire lives coming together and falling in love. Is that wrong? They didn't have to change each other's diapers or see each other in their most vulnerable moments. And even if they did, who's to say that that's wrong? That might make the bond for some people even stronger. So I challenge you guys to, in the comments, tell me why it's not okay to involve yourself in an incestuous relationship with someone you're not having a child with that isn't manipulating you to do so and you're both consenting adults. Why? Just because society tells you it's weird? Just because some people have the preference not to do it? Most people have the preference not to do it? What does that matter? Live your life the way that works for you, how you see fit, and what ultimately makes you the happiest. As long as you're not hurting anyone else, who gives a shit? I fully accept all of the hate that is gonna be thrown at me by people who immediately judge rather than actually listening and analyzing, and all of those who just immediately hate me because of the way I look. Once again, no, I have never wanted to or have been in an incestuous relationship. I have never had anything thrown upon me that I did not want. Possibly one of the reasons why I'm not as affected by this thought as a lot of other people, like making up in my head a really hot cousin doesn't freak me out too much, is maybe because I don't have a large family. So I don't really know what it's like to spend a lot of time with a cousin. I don't have any siblings. I do have a mom and dad, aunt and uncle, cousins that I barely ever see. And one other thing, why the hell is it worse for a brother and sister to have sex, but it's like completely fine and an accepted porn genre for a mother and daughter or like sisters to go at it? Why is that different? Why is the fact that there's no penis involved make it hot rather than creepy? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I think mostly because, for lack of a better way to explain this, lesbianism and bisexuality aren't taken as seriously. There may not be any skin-to-skin -skin penetration of anything other than fingers, but it is still incest by definition. So why is that hot and the other is not? Look within yourself and tell me in the comments why you have such a viscerally negative reaction to this. And if you don't, tell me that too. I would love to see other people, other than the first commenter on my unpopular opinions video, who thinks this like I do. What's the big deal? All right guys, if you enjoyed this, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I wanna do more videos like this where I talk on certain topics that I'm curious about the reactions to. I wanna build a community of people who think rather than feel and think about why they feel. And I just genuinely enjoy the conversation. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!